Rolling returns are an excellent performance measurement tool to look at mutual fund performance. It allows you to look at returns over multiple periods of time and gauge the experience of many investors that come in at different points in the time of a fund. The main advantage of looking at return data on a rolling basis is it's a series of data, so you have many more data items to look at, so it's a much more robust calculation. One of the limitations when you're looking at calendar year returns is that they truly are arbitrary periods. No investor is actually going to put money on January 1st and then take it out on December 31st. So you're looking at a time frame that's not necessarily a meaningful representation of an investor's experience. When you look at rolling returns, you actually see every single investor's experience over a three-year or five-year time frame. So when you look at a trailing series of data, that's also going to be anchored to a month end or a quarter end. So for example, if you've had um, a really good 12-month performance period, that affects your one-year trailing return. It also is a third of your three-year return. It's a fifth of your five-year return. When you look at a rolling series of data, it smooths that effect out of an, one anomalous period. So it's much more effective to look at rolling data when you want to understand the consistency of a fund's performance. One of the great things about looking at rolling data when you look at it over longer periods of time, such as a three-year time frame or a five-year time frame or even a 10-year time period, you get to encompass multiple market cycles into that evaluation. And when you look at those over time, you can actually see the consistency of a manager's performance over multiple cycles. For rolling returns to be an effective measure, you want to have some history. So if you're looking at a three-year rolling return period, you want to be able to go back 10 or 15 years for you to have enough data for that to be a meaningful data set. When you're using a rolling methodology, you can evaluate consistency of fund performance using multiple metrics. A great example would be to look at risk over that by using rolling standard deviation or risk-adjusted returns by looking at the Sharpe ratio. One of the reasons why rolling returns is so effective for financial advisors when they're evaluating funds is you actually can see what the multiple experiences of your clients have been in a particular fund or if they were to invest in a particular manager's style. You'd be looking at the consistency of return performance across for all your investors.